Most programmers don't know about this in Python. Let's say our intern was given three lists of students. Now his task was to find all possible combinations that could be made by combining names from the three lists. At first, he decided to use the for loop to solve the problem. He wrote nested loops to iterate through each list, calculated the total number of combinations, and printed all the possible combinations. When he ran the program, he got the total number of combinations and the combinations themselves as output. However, this approach had a problem. It lacked scalability. With three lists, he only needed three nested loop, but as the number of lists increases, this becomes unmanageable because each list require one nested loop. This will make the code harder to read, write, and maintain. To overcome this, we can use the product function from the iter tools module. By using the product, we simply pass all the three lists as arguments. The product function generates all possible combinations efficiently. Finally, we convert the result into a list. When the intern ran the program using this method, he got the same result.